Okay, so this is a video to show you how to use the Wii Video software to put your story together. So first of all, you need to log into Wii Video. And then what you want to do is to make sure that your photos and your audio are uploaded online. So click on Upload Media. And then choose what you you know what you need. So here's the test um, sound recording I did earlier. So let's open that. Um, and you can choose where to put it if you want to create a new file or something like that. Um, it's entirely up to you, but I'm just going to put it in my media upload. And I'm also going to upload my my pictures um, and I've just so find the um, you know file with your pictures in it select them all you need to make sure that your pictures are JPEGs okay um, so make sure every picture you have is a JPEG otherwise it's not going to upload done upload and wait for all that to sort of upload it may take a while Okay, we're done. And then what you want to do um, is obviously create a new video. So find a name for your video. So this is test video. Okay. Oh, please add some content. I will. Um, so basically then what you want to do is put the audio file that you've recorded under audio one. So find that in your media, oh, here's my test. And all you do is click on it, hold your mouse down and drag it to audio one. And now when you play, um, it will come up with the with the sound. Um, so then what you want to do, I mean, you can move your audio um, around. It's entirely up to you where you want it to go, um, depending on where you put your pictures. But for the time being, um, I'm going to have it sort of towards the front. In fact, I'm going to have it right at the front. Um, and so once your video is there, your, once you're sorry, your audio is there. Then you can put your video, your pictures um, in the main sort of section across the top. And a little trick here is this sort of zoom in, zoom out section. Um, so you can sort of, you know, get much more detail on it. So there are different ways of sort of putting in the sound, of uh, putting in the, the photos, sorry. Um, so all you do is find the photos in the order that you want them to go in and drag them on top. And so now, um, you know, you think, okay, so the sound we're playing as the video is going along, it doesn't actually work at this exact point in time because I'm actually recording the voiceover for this video. Um, but you can see where the picture appears in relation to the sound. So just cut and, you know, play it and see what happens. Um, and then move, you can move the picture to make it on the screen for longer or a shorter period of time like this. And then the trick is to put all the photos that you want um, in the order that you want them in. So drag them across, drag them across. And then think about two, then once you've got sort of the, the photos in the order that you want them in, about inserting things like, um, you know, a beginning and an end sort of slide. So if we go on to um, oop, text, you can see here there are different text options. So you have subtitles or sort of main text and then you have end credits. So if I want to have sort of the opening text sort of of the title of my video. I choose that and I put it down in front here. And I move it um, so it's at the appropriate size. 
And now you can see actually that now that I've done that, my actual photo is in the wrong place. So it's really key um, to edit this um, in the order that you want the sound, the, the video to be in. So if you want to then edit your text, press edit, and you can type here the title of my video or whatever I want. And you can choose here, of course, then sort of, you know, much like Microsoft Word, the video, you know, the, the font, the size, the color, um, you know, do you want the text smaller or do you want it bigger? Um, well, it's too big, but you get what I mean. So you can play around with that. And when you're done, press done editing. Um, and so you can do that sort of for all your, um, photos as well. If you want to edit the photo, um, it's entirely up to you. Um, and so then in a sense, if you want the photo to move, what you need to tell the program is where you want the photo to start and where you want the photo to end. Um, so currently it's just sort of not doing much, but so now I want to perhaps add some animation to it. Um, so at the start, maybe I want my, you know, you just click and drag here. Maybe I want my coin or my picture to be over here at the beginning. Um, and then at the end, maybe I want it to be over here. And so then you can sort of do that and then see what it looks like as a test. Um, and you can also, in a sense, then increase the size of your photo by saying, okay, at the start, well, I want it here. And I want it to be that size. But at the end, I want it actually to be much bigger. And that will also then give you a different type of effect. These are the main two effects. Um, and I wouldn't recommend going overboard with sort of, you know, the effects. Um, otherwise you can distract from the actual um, video. You can adjust the color and contrast and all those sorts of things. Rotate your, your um, you know, coin or rotate your picture or not. And when you're done, press done. So now in a sense, we've got the title, you know, and then once the, the, the sound starts, you can have sort of, sort of special effects. Um, and so you can go along and do that for all the, um, the pictures, but there's even more that you can do. So if you wanted to add a subtitle, for instance, and there are two types of subtitles here, what you need to do then is in a sense, layer it on top of the picture. So say I want a subtitle like this on top of my coin. I drag it up to video one. This is another level. And then I make sure it's at the same level as that. So they match up exactly. And then I say, okay, what do I want to have in this subtitle text? Here is a coin done. So now you have subtitles as well. Um, if that's what you would like. Um, at the end of your video, obviously, you put the end credits. Woo. Here they are. Um, and again, you press edit and you can put sort of directed by CR or whoever one you put. And make sure to put all the videos, sorry, all the pictures and their copyright information in here as well. Um, it would also be really great if you could put the University of Warwick logo um, right at the end. Um, then you can play to see how that works. Oh, it's not rotating. It's not actually moving up. So then we come back to animation. So at the beginning, it's going to be, or well, maybe at the beginning, I want my credits to be all the way down here. And to make it exact, these numbers down the end, make it exact. So it doesn't wobble over. So say my position is going to be 58 and the, so the X axis and the Y axis 380. And then at the end, I actually want the credits well, I still want it to be 58 because I want it to be exactly where they were, but the Y axis is going to have to be much, much higher because I want say it to be up here. So 58 and then minus two, three, nine. So what does that look like? And you can see then that it actually then proceeds sort of scrolls up if that's what you're after. Um, some students last year just had sort of fading in and out sort of individual credits, you can do it that way as well. So just insert one text box after another, after another, after another 
down here. Um, and if I change like how long, so here are the minute, the seconds up here, if I change how long it is, ooh, um, you know, ooh, if I can just move our little screen along, so if I change the length of this video, then it's going to go much faster, the animation, because there's a shorter space to do it in. Um, you can also put more than one image on a in a section. So say I want to have this image juxtaposed with some other images and have them appear at different times. I go to edit and I think, okay, well, I want this image to actually be a little bit smaller than it is. So I move it down and I actually want it to be over here because I want to have some juxtaposition going on. So say I put my image here. Okay, I'm like, okay, done. I like that. But then at some point during my video, I want another image to appear as I'm speaking. I go over to my media. I find another image. Um, these all appear to be coins, which is rather haphazard. Um, I find another image and I drag it on top. So much like the subtitles, you put it on top. Um, and I don't want it. I want it to appear at some point during the story, not right at the beginning. So I'm like, okay, so I want... I want it to appear at this point in the story. Um, it's obviously too big, so I'm going to edit it. I'm going to make it smaller. And I want it to appear sort of alongside. And then you can see, oops, done editing. Um, and then you can see then that the way that this would sort of work. So you're sort of going along, you know, and at some point another image appears. At the same time, you can actually make an image disappear, again, by adjusting the size here. So if I want then something to appear and then disappear, it can do that as well. You can also have a transition between um, your two sort of two pictures. So say you want things to fade in or out or something like that. Um, so you can go to transitions. Um, and you can go a little bit crazy here. And again, I would recommend sort of being minimalist about the situation. Um, and think about the type of message you're trying to communicate via the video. So if you really are like starting a new paragraph, then perhaps it's useful to have a transition. Perhaps, you know, a fade to black or a fade to white um, to signify to the viewer that you've moved on to a sort of a subsection. So if you want to add a transition... You put it in between the two things that you would like it to appear in. So this is quite a long transition, but I want it to be a little bit shorter. And then you will then see that it will fade before the next coin or before the next picture comes up. But as you can see, if you go a little, if you go crazy with this, um, it can actually be quite distracting from the story. So that's a little bit. Well, I don't know if I like that, but anyway, so you can sort of think about the transitions between your pictures as well, and then really think about, I mean, why you're using them and what you're communicating with them. It's sort of a visual language. Um, so you can go through and edit it along these ways. Um, in addition to your audio, you can actually add extra audio sort of special effects if that's what you're after. So say a, a music soundtrack or something like that. The key, if you do that, um, is to make sure that your voice isn't going to be drowned out. And you can change how high the volume is on your main track here. But if you want to have another track, sort of like a special effects or something, um, you know, you can add here. So you can keep adding tracks upon tracks upon tracks. So I want another audio track, um, say... And so then I'm like, well, when I want, ooh, when I want, you know, when the, ooh, when my Roman centurion appears, perhaps I want some special effects. Um, and there are actually sounds within um, Wii Video that you can use. Oh my God, very various themes. These are copyright free, so feel free to use them. Sad, serious, worried, dance party funds. Um, so you can sort of play these and see what they are 
Um, the sound's not going to come up because I'm recording this over it. But if you want to add special effects or music over the top, you then just drag down the sound to where you want it to appear in your story. Um, but then make sure then that the sound is quieter than your actual voice so that we can still hear you. Um, and you can sort of play around and see what, you know, how it ends up. Again, with sound, be I would I was just being more restricted than you know otherwise. Don't choose some sort of porn theme to go over the top because you know this could uh, distract seriously from your video. Um, so yeah, and again, much like the the pictures, you can adjust the length um, to suit where you want this sound to appear. Um, I think I've covered all the basics. I mean, the key too is that we video itself has a very useful help section with videos on how to do things as well. So I'd recommend if you have sort of any th thoughts about, oh, I'd like to do something a little bit more, play around with that. And the key is to actually just have a play around um, with the system. Um, transition sex, yes, I've covered all of these. Um, once you're done, um, you know, you press finish video and you can, in fact, then sort of publish it online. Um, I don't actually want to finish it that way. But then when you log in to work on it, um, it will come up under projects. So if you, you don't have to do it all at once, obviously. It's sort of impossible. Um, but under projects, test video will come up and then you press edit. You can publish it, you can rename it, you can delete it. Um, so going along like that. And I think that's all you sort of really need to know.